Hey Planner Fam, it's your girl Chakisha of Her Lovely Plan and I'm here in front of the lens today because I am participating in a collaboration called 25 Days of Planner Tips. Including myself, it's 25 planners. Um, some of them have been planning for years, some of them are just 12 months into the planning game, which is myself. And we just wanna give you some tips in regards to what to expect when you start doing planning. So my tip is how to choose a planner. And I have three tips that I want to um, extend to you. And these are tips that I kind of wish that I had when I chose my planners because I bought all the things and I kind of regretted it, but it was a learning experience. And now I can give you some nuggets um, based on some of the things that I wish I would have known. So I'm going to refer to my notes so I won't be all over the place. So let's go with point number one, and that is what do you want to track? What is it that you want to stay organized with or on task? And that is very important because you don't want to just buy a planner because it's cute and you really don't have a purpose for it. So you want to kind of just make maybe a list of some of the things that you always fall short in or forget about um, that you want to make sure that you always, you know, can stay on task. And just to give you a couple examples, um, like for myself, I like to track um, just my bills, which would be like budget planning. I like to track appointments, which would be like everyday planning to make sure I don't miss any hair appointments, nail appointments doctor's appointments, things of that nature. Um, if you have kids that have a lot of activities and you always you know, seem like you're late or you forget about it, that's another amazing thing that you can use to track. Um, so once you've figured out exactly what you wanna track so you can make sure you stay on point and you just wanna plan for better, the next one is um, buying a planner. So when buying the actual planner, you want to figure out what you want to spend. You want to figure out, you know, what size you would like. Um, do you want something that is customizable or do you want something that's already put together for you and you don't have to do anything? So number two kind of goes with number three as well. So I'm going to go ahead and bring number three into that. And that is asking for help. So when you're trying to determine what type of planner to get when tracking those things that you already figured out you want to track, you want to ask questions, um, you want to go to the stores, ask the associate, associates that work there, you know, what are their recommendations? One of the biggest things that I can say when you're trying to pick your planner and figure out what you can afford is go online, YouTube is a great resource. All you have to do is put in some keywords like happy planner, planner girls, um, planner at anything that's about planning. You're going to 99% of the time find planner girls that have plan with me videos that kind of shows what planners they use, how they use it, and things of that nature. Um, ask a friend. You'll be surprised a lot of people are using actual planners. So if you ask a friend, like, what do you use to track your planning besides your cell phone or a calendar on the wall? So ask plenty of questions. And then once you kind of figure out, okay, I like this planner brand or that planner brand, then you want to start looking at the cost of it. Once you figure out what your budget is, what type of planner you want to get, then it is fine coupons do not spend a lot of money on your first planner especially if you really don't know your planner style and that was my biggest mistake when i first got my first you know i call it real planner um i bought a 60 dollars planner that i only used for two months um and it was kind of disappointing because i liked it when i got it but when I started doing the research after the fact and I saw that there were so many other options that um, that I liked and I am a happy planner and I have a 
traveler's notebooks and with those you can customize them how you want you can use them how they are but you can take them out add different inserts and pages and those things so i'm a type of planner that needs to be able to take things in and out um and that makes a big difference so that's why it's important to going back to number one figure out what you want to track then figuring out what kind of planner that you want to buy and your price point so that way number three you know what questions to ask when you start to really get serious about getting that actual planner so these are just a couple of my tips i hope they're helpful i hope i you know didn't confuse anyone um but if you have any questions you can feel free to email me dm me send me an inbox all of my contact information is listed below in the video and after this it's another amazing planner girl that has some awesome tips her name is Alyssa. her link will be in the bottom of my description box make sure you check out her video so she can give you her tips on what to do in this planner game so until next time planner fam peace